What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're using the same colors as we did last time, totally different technique this time. There's no silicone in any of these colors. Titanium white, old gold. We have a Payne's gray and an oxide black. I have my coconut milk hair serum in here and I'm going to dip this popsicle stick into it and create chameleon cell pattern with these colors. I am still trying to get the effect that I got with that, that I, that I'm going for with that uh, decoration downstairs. And that's what we're doing today. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing fantastic. It's another scorching day here in Arizona, which I'm not complaining at all. I love it. <laughs> I love it being hot. I will never complain. So I'm trying to avoid these colors turning. I'm also going to limit how much dark I use because the black will take over. The gray will also take over. So I'm going to try to avoid letting them mix or churn too, too much. I might do it a little bit with the gold here and there because I do want some defined gold, but I also want some feathery edges to the gold, if that makes sense. Yeah, having a, a great time here in Phoenix so far. I really can't complain. I love it here. A lot of the people that I've gotten to interact with are just amazing human beings. And it's really nice to be able to be around a bunch of people that are kind of like-minded in the way I am. I try to see the positive in everything. And there are a lot of people here that are that way. But, so I want the white churn through this gold just a little. Maybe just a little bit of the black punch through. Well, I didn't punch through, but that's okay. We'll get a little bit of that gray mix by letting the white punch through the black. I think we should use gray. Just nice subtle layers of, I am trying to get more gold accents with this one. Cause I didn't get as many and it was kind of, it was a little disappointing, but for those of you that do this often, you know the paints don't always do what you want them to do. Sometimes they're stubborn and there's not much you can do. But I feel like we have enough solid um, bands of gold to hopefully get some really cool gold bands in this. And this should be on the bottom, so I'm not super concerned with the darkness there. And a little bit more white. But there's no silicone in any of these colors. It's just two parts pouring medium, which is that artist loft pouring medium to one part paint. And, and we just get to have our fun with it, right? All right, a little bit of gray just to top the cup off. I don't anticipate seeing too much of that. Maybe in the background a little bit. I do have extra white mix this time for when we get to it. All right. So I'm letting just a little bit of air bubbles kind of float to the top. I want to minimize as many of those as I can. So that's what we're doing. Now we're gonna lift the cup and hopefully expose some really cool, majestic patterns. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I really like the subtle gold bands, but I know underneath, I can already kind of see right there some gold. 
Unfortunately, we've got quite a few bubbles in that white, but that's okay, because I mean, we're just gonna end up popping them anyway. So I might as well do that now. There we go. There's no silicone in any of this, so that heat's not gonna cause any kind of reaction. All right, and then, yeah, I really love the transparencies. I can tell there's gold there too. I can't wait to do the chameleon cells in there and see what we have hidden underneath. It's always a fun and exciting part of the painting for me is when something gets exposed that's not what I thought it was. Those happy little accidents. And as much as I really love that, I think I'm going to lose a lot of that. And I'm going to have to be okay with that. Let me see. There might be something I can do to kind of prevent some of that from going away. The closer I get this to the edges, Less, I'll have to spin it. But yeah, those stripes are pretty wicked looking. They're really cool. All right, just a gentle spin. We're just trying to coax those colors to the edge. I think we're good on one side. So let me just bring it back. Because I'm going to try to keep those stripes. Those stripes are really cool looking. And there we go. And still need a little bit over here. There's still quite a bit of paint on the canvas. That is one part of this I'm still learning here in Arizona. It's because I know for a fact that the temperature and lack of humidity here is going to really play a different role in how my paintings dry. So I'm trying to not get too attached to anything because it's going to be a transitional period when I, while I figure that out. But yeah, we will definitely get it nailed down. That's for sure. So, all right. Now I don't really want that really dark spot of white on the corner there. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this excess and kinda just rip it on down. There we go. We got a little bit going on over here too. gotta cover all the corners now. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna let this paint settle just for a moment. And then we're gonna come back and start doing chameleon cells to it. All right. So I have an idea of what I want. I already know there's lots of golds under there. I'm gonna leave these beautiful bands of color just the way they are. This middle section, I'm not super thrilled about. So I'm gonna try to place the, the silicone in spots where it expands to the points where it doesn't really disturb too much out there. I don't have any toothpicks, so I had to cut a popsicle stick. So I'm hoping that doesn't make it a big deal. But yeah, I'm just dipping it in the 
coconut milk hair serum. And then the dimethicone that is in the hair serum is pushing the layers apart and showing what is underneath. We're already getting some really wicked, cool looking gold banding around the cells, which is awesome. It's a beautiful look. Yeah, this popsicle stick's not working like I'm used to with the toothpick. The point's not as fine on this, so some sections of it don't work the same. But oh man, I love the look of that though. How it's got really nice grit, like striations and gradated lines, but then it has the stark relief of the cells too. And then the cells, they're just a culmination of all the colors that are in the whole piece itself, which is awesome. I really love how this is such a simple technique, but it just it makes such stunning effects. Love that. And these colors are playing so great together. I'm very happy with the way these colors are going. It's almost a monochromatic color scheme too, which is kind of surprising because normally you can't get good depth and um, color variants when you're doing this kind of a color palette. But we are getting some really interesting looking Cells, effects, they're beautiful. Well, I think, I think that's it. I really don't want to mess with it anymore. One little cell that isn't growing like the rest, but that will be all we do. All right, so give me some time to let this cells grow. I'm gonna scrape the sides, I'll give it about 15 minutes so the paint stops moving, and then I'm gonna bring you guys down. We're gonna check it out together. So excited about this one, I love it. Got some really cool golds and patterns going through this piece. I love the way this one came out. So this one dried perfectly. I have noticed here in Arizona so far, everything that I paint is dry in almost less than 24 hours, which is awesome. But this one came out really nice. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.